There is a reason why Tesla is not just another car company like Ford or GM. It is a full-size tech company with multiple divisions focused on green and groundbreaking technologies. And here we go again. Tesla's Elon Musk wowed the tech world with his vision of a solar-powered future a few years ago. He described how houses outfitted with Tesla's solar roof would send energy to Powerwall, a sleek storage device meant to serve as a charging station for the house and a Tesla electric vehicle. Two years after showing these futuristic solar-paneled glass shingles, Tesla installed its first solar roofs for customers in 2018. The solar tiles were originally unveiled and were almost indistinguishable from typical roofing materials, making them an aesthetically appealing choice for customers who may be put off by standard panel designs. The initial installations were done on Tesla staff residences, mirroring how the first Tesla Model 3 vehicles were distributed. This is certainly a deliberate choice that enables Tesla to test and evaluate its new products early in its manufacturing cycle, as well as a reward for its commitment to the enormous effort represented by bringing these items to market. I have it at my home, Elon Musk remarked on the conference call. He said that the initial installations were both producing electricity and being erected. Meanwhile, the old Solar City which Tesla purchased for $2 billion in 2016, lost market share to competitor installers who have benefited from Musk's off-the-grid overtures. Tesla was reorganizing storefronts to focus more on its solar goods, as the firm transitioned to selling such items full-time from its 110 US locations that were previously mostly showrooms for its electric vehicles. Similar to the demand for the Model 3, there was a huge interest in the Powerwall, with customers eagerly awaiting the merchandise. As a result, Tesla actively increased their production's capacity in its Nevada Gigafactory and a facility in Buffalo, New York. While Tesla can equip a house with typical PV or photovoltaic panels manufactured by SolarCity in six weeks, the company's previously dominating market position has eroded compared to competitors Sunrun and Vivin Solar. Looks like battery storage is crucial to increasing solar adoption because, with fewer jurisdictions permitting users to sell back electricity to the grid, a practice known as net metering, the next best answer is to keep your solar energy until you need it. Although Tesla would not reveal the amount of demand for Powerwall, it was claimed that it's a great success, especially in Australia and Europe and that deliveries are now prioritized for customers who have purchased both panels and Powerwall. Tesla has also made significant attempts to acquire corporate contracts, including one in Australia where it will offer panels and Powerwalls to 50,000 households, and another with PG&E where it will provide 3,000 power packs, an industrial counterpart of Powerwall at a California substation. All of this implies that if you want to go solar with Tesla right now, you'll have to be patient. Now, the business is expanding its product range with a new Tesla Solar Inverter built in-house. Tesla Solar Inverter completes the Tesla Home Solar System, converting DC electricity from solar to AC power for household usage, the company said of its newest product from its energy division portfolio. Tesla's famous competence in power electronics has been paired with solid safety measures and an easy installation method to create an exceptional solar inverter compatible with both solar roof and regular solar panels. Homeowners utilize the Tesla app to operate their solar system and monitor energy use after it is built, resulting in a unique ecosystem experience. According to new purchasers, the new inverter is already fitted with new Tesla solar systems. Before developing its solar inverter, Tesla was known to employ Delta and Solar Edge inverters. Many feel that the most significant attribute of a solar inverter is its efficiency. At 97.5%, it outperforms Delta's 97% but falls short of Solar Edge's 99%. However, the Tesla solar inverter has some good features, such as four-point trackers which might be beneficial if your solar modules are coming from various strings on different portions of your roof, which is highly possible with a solar roof tile installation. The Tesla Solar Inverter also has over-the-update capabilities, which means the business can upgrade the product's software over time. 
Tesla may outperform the competition by exploiting its existing power electronic manufacturing capacity for electric cars and charging stations. Amid the massive progress made by Tesla on the Solar City project, Musk landed himself a lawsuit in which he stood a chance to lose as much as $2 billion. The lawsuit was a shareholder derivative action, a claim launched on behalf of a business by investors rather than people or funds. If the plaintiffs had won, the money would have gone to Tesla rather than the shareholders who launched the complaint. During the trial, Musk said that the Solar City transaction was part of his master plan, which he wrote in 2006 to hasten the adoption of clean energy. When Tesla offered the transaction in June 2016, investors were dubious, and the stock dropped more than 10% as a result. According to documents used as evidence in the trial, Musk sent an email to SolarCity CFO Brad Buss on September 18, 2016, indicating that to get Tesla investors on board with the acquisition, SolarCity needs to solve its liquidity crisis and sign a statement of intent with Panasonic. Musk frequently contended throughout his testimony, contradicting those emails, that SolarCity would have been able to secure finance even if the company hadn't been bought by Tesla. Luckily, Tesla completed the purchase of SolarCity in November 2016. The plaintiffs claimed that Musk only got the SolarCity purchase authorized by misrepresenting the company's financial health, claiming it would be cash flow positive within six months. They further claimed that due diligence by other businesses, such as Evercore, was expedited to conceal SolarCity's problems. Shareholders also claimed in the lawsuit that Musk introduced a product that didn't yet work, glass solar roof tiles, to persuade investors that SolarCity had actual intellectual property and a product close to commercial viability. In other words, Tesla's hope for synergistic integration is still a work in progress. Despite these hurdles, Tesla's valuation has skyrocketed since the acquisition. Tesla's shareholders claimed that the company's purchase of the solar installation amounted to a bailout, pushed through by Musk, who served on the boards of both companies at the time. The shareholders also claimed that Musk controlled Tesla's board of directors, even though he seemed to recuse himself from certain Solar City transaction talks. Musk denies putting any pressure on the Tesla board to complete the purchase. He also said that the deal enabled Tesla to integrate its battery business with SolarCity's solar voltaics installations. Fortunately, a Delaware court found in favor of defendant Elon Musk in a shareholder complaint relating to Tesla's $2.6 billion purchase of SolarCity. Moving on to 2021, Tesla inked a groundbreaking agreement last year to install solar roofs and power walls on a massive scale in a new development near Austin, Texas. The initiative collaborates with Brookfield Asset Management and DACRA. They are providing Tesla solar roofs and power walls as packages on brand new homes in Easton Park, a new 12,000 home construction project. It has been regarded as a critical project for Tesla, allowing them to enter the new home market with solar and energy storage. The experiment has been ongoing for a year, but nothing is known about it now. Although, Tesla is currently increasing activity in Easton Park by concentrating solar roof installation teams on new home projects. Tesla has ceased scheduling new solar roof projects since the product is still significantly behind schedule. Now, sources close to the situation have revealed that Tesla is planning fresh solar roof installations for the fourth quarter of 2022. This comes with an emphasis on new properties, like the ones in Easton Park, with Tesla solar roofs and power walls. So what happened next? Brookfield Asset Management has multiple properties in the Tesla solar neighborhood with the Tesla solar package. One Easton Park homeowner described why he chose the Tesla package, saying, I performed a cost-benefit analysis. I went to the Tesla website and entered the identical features of the property we're purchasing, as well as the cost of adding a Tesla roof. There is a significant cost reduction for having it installed. The system generates more power than it is needed, and he can sell the excess to the grid. He can produce long-term passive income by continuing to practice energy-saving routines. Tesla is establishing a firm to sell retail energy in Texas and is building a virtual power plant. 
these new Easton Park installations may someday be integrated into Tesla's future Texas virtual power plant. We are excited about Tesla's Solar City, and we hope you are. Remember to like this video and subscribe. Thanks for watching.